What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, AC Cooler, aka Big AC, back again with another video. Wait. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Big AC, aka AC Cooler, here with my first video, man. And I figured, what better way to start off my YouTube channel, you know, my very first video, than with an unboxing video? So without further ado, without getting too much in detail, let's get straight into it, man. So, here we have the Air Jordan 1 Stage Haze, aka Bleach Core Guys, or whatever they call these junk. Got a million names too. I call them Stage Haze, but that's what all the foot sites call them, all the apps, all the like, you know, all y'all favorite little apps like Goat, StockX, all them junks. That's what they call them. So I'm gonna go with Stage Haze, because that's the name of these junks. So let's get it. Right off the bat, man, you see it. This is actually a very dope shoe. A very, very, very dope shoe. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I can't see myself really just rocking these joints like that. But for the next man, these these joints really are for real. You know what I'm saying? You got your, your black and gray and white. A very neutral, go with everything colorway. Off the rip, you see it comes with white laces, pink laces, aka the bleach coral laces. Which is a, a nice little touch to the to the black, white, and gray colorway. Real good touch. You see here on the size tag with a Nike Air tag, you see the the bleach coral colorway on here as well. Uh, thought it would be on the stitching too, but I think it's just on the on the Nike Air tag, which is pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? You got the the gray sole. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy, nothing too out of the ordinary. You got your uh, bleach coral writing on the uh, back of the side, on the Nike Air Tag. On the inside, another dope touch they got, which is I thought was pretty cool, is your, uh, you got a bleach coral insole, which is real dope in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? It gives you a, it gives the shoe a nice little touch with the uh, with the mixture and the blend of all the colors on there. But that's, that's real cool in my opinion. I, I like that, you know, I rock with it. But once again, like I said, I rock with the shoe itself, but I wouldn't rock the shoe. So just because you see a shoe on my channel, does not mean I'm gonna rock these shoes. Remember that. And also, no, I am not a hype beast. So let's get on the story right now. I might have hype beast shoes, but I am not a hype beast. I normally go for myself, OG colorways, my favorites, you know what I'm saying? But recently I have been buying a lot of hype beast shoes, but that's another story for another video for another day. But right now, these, this video is all about the, the Bleach Core guys. Now, another dope touch they got in my opinion, is the uh, the cracked leather along the toe body. Y'all might not be able to see it on the camera, but I'll give y'all a detailed look later on in the video so y'all can really get a good, you know what I'm saying, look at the shoe and what the shoe is really looking like up close. But overall, real soft leather on the shoe. Real, real soft, nothing too rough, nothing, you know what I'm saying, stiff. Nice little suede around the back part of the shoe, the back heel part. Nice little beautiful hourglass shape across the rear of the shoe, you know what I'm saying? That hourglass shape is a must for Jordan 1s. So if you got some Jordan 1s and they got this shape, you might want to get them joints checked out, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Them joints might not be official. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just the left shoe, of course, you know. I always remember, left shoe always has the lace bags on them. Just in case y'all didn't know that. Right shoe, not different at all from the left shoe. Only thing that's different is it has this tag on here, which says, please note natural crack scent on the upper is normal due to the random crackle ink application. So I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's crack leather all around the collar of the shoe. You know what I'm saying? All around the black part of the shoe, the toe. Crack leather all over, the, pretty much all over the whole shoe, except for, uh, no, I don't think it's on the white part, but anywhere that's black, basically it's crack leather. So yeah, once again, very, very, very dope shoe in my opinion. Not a shoe that I would rock, but honestly, I could see myself rocking these, but I just don't want to rock these. But they are a hard shoe though, real hard. You know what I'm saying? If you can get your hands on these, you know what I'm saying? The resale for these right now is not that much. I think it's sitting like around the 205 range, depending on what size you are. These are size 11, by the way. So I think these size is like a 205, two something. That's before all the, you know, the taxes and shipping fees. No, you got them foot size beating you over the head for them taxes and fees. For what reason, I don't know why StockX, go all them sites want to give you these crazy prices for these shoes when it comes to shipping fees and, you know what I'm saying, authentication fees, even though StockX is known for giving people fake shoes. But 
that's another story for another day as well. We're not gonna get to all that stock eggs, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they had going on in that little stock eggs facility, warehouse, whatever you wanna call that junk. But once again, though, these are real, real good shoe. Good neutral shoe. You can, you know what I'm saying, wear these joints year round. Nice colorway. Nice, nice everything, honestly. This is this is really just a solid overall dope shoe that I honestly could see as being part of my collection. But mm, I don't know. I might not keep these. I say that now, y'all probably see me in the video styling these shoes, even though I said I wouldn't rock them. But if I do do a styling video, that'll be for another day. Another, you know what I'm saying, another time. But once again, dope shoe. Real nice. Nice details. Nice leather. Nice material. You know what I'm saying? Nike really did that thing with this joint. This is actually one of the better Jordan 1 highs that's came out so far this year. What the Jordan 1 highs come out? Hmm. I'm not even for sure. A lot of J's been coming out this year. A lot of good J's. A lot of trash. A lot of, a lot of trash been coming out. But this is on the, you know, on the better end of retro ones, retro J's in general that's been coming out this year. So, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Once again, great shoe, great color, great details, great everything. But I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to get y'all like a real good in-depth detailed look at these shoes. And uh, I'll catch y'all on my next video.